This is one that I, I get a lot as a, a fairly legitimate question, which is, all right, so we're going over to electric vehicles, right? But those electric vehicles have to charge. And right. where are they getting their electricity from? Therefore, are they actually helping? So my dentist actually asked me this recently while I had the tools in my mouth, which is not fair. So here is, here is what it breaks down to. Let's start with this great tool that I found from the Union of Concerned Scientists that allows you to enter the make of car that you have and where you live by zip code, and then it tells you how that car does versus other cars. So in this case, we've chosen a Tesla 2019 Model 3 standard range, and it emits 78 grams of CO2 equivalent per mile as opposed to gasoline only, which is 381, plug-in hybrid, which is 191, and battery electric, two, uh, 123, that's your average battery electric, not the Tesla itself. So you can see it does much, much better. It is much more eco-friendly, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. So take a minute to let this graph sink in here. What we're showing you is that it depends on the country how good electric vehicles are when it comes to carbon emissions. And the reason for that is a couple of a couple fold here. One, battery production is better in some countries than others, and electricity production is cleaner in some countries. So look at Norway for example. An electric vehicle in Norway is much more CO2 carbon efficient than one in the United States or even in Germany or France because Norway uses a ton of renewable green energy. Now on the left hand side you're seeing your average car. So no matter how you slice it, no matter where that electricity is coming from, your Tesla Model 3 once again is much, much lower in carbon footprint when compared to a standard car or even a Prius which is obviously a very, very good uh, um, car as far as emissions go. All right, so there's more to it even than that. Let's talk about the carbon repay cycle. So electric vehicles, when they come off the production line, have a higher carbon footprint than a gasoline engine car. That is, that is true. And the reason for that is that manufacturing those lithium ion batteries of that size is carbon intensive. So it usually takes one and a half to two years before you repay that carbon debt. But as you can see, with the um, conventional car being in the gray and the Nissan Leaf in this scenario being in the red, you very quickly pay that off and then from there you're doing much, much better than a conventional vehicle. Now Maine actually is lucky in the sense that we are part of a relatively good carbon grid. So when we charge things or use electricity, 43% of that is natural gas, which is a fossil fuel, but it's not coal, and coal is 17%, and then nuclear is a very clean type of energy is at 22%, and then other is all the renewables. So the bottom line here is no matter how you slice it, from the production of the car all the way to driving it for several years, electric vehicles are better for the carbon environment for CO2 emissions than gasoline vehicles. Now, guys, as I always say, I'm not telling you what to do. Yeah. I'll be the first to admit I don't have an electric vehicle at this time, and I think the the hurdles are the same for me as a lot of people, which is price point at the moment. Um, I drive a mid-size type crossover vehicle. If you want to get one of those from Tesla, they're about ninety-five to $99,000. Yeah. Now there are credits, but I'll tell you the credits are not enough to offset that price tag. So I think the whole price, you know, for a lot of people and options need to come down. Um, but as we talk about on the show a lot, you can't deny reality because you don't want to do the solution. So the reality is they are better. Now the solution is, can we get these to a place where more consumers can get in on them? And I think the answer is going to be yes, eventually. Well, that's the thing. When you live in Caribou, where are you plugging your electric car into? So networks now, like uh, Volkswagen just announced, they're doing package deals. Okay, we're going to do batteries, a lot of EVs, and they just partnered with BP. So at every BP gas station, there'll be charging stations. So that's, that's where we need to go. You can't have people worried about what the range is, because they're just not going to buy them, especially in a big state like this. Very cool. Well, this is good to know. We really appreciate the in-depth look, Keith. Thanks. We'll be right back.